The longer you play in a Minecraft world, the more resources you gather, and the more important you realize a good inventory management is. I feel like the first step of inventory management is a well-organized storage space. For me, I find an organized storage space leads to an organized mind, and that allows me to plan builds and other projects better. Knowing what resources I have, how to find them quickly, and how much more I need. So today, we're going to work on our early game settlement some more and add in a storage build. As my main aim with these builds is to replicate a small settlement built by one or two few people, we will be sticking to much the same build style as our starter build. But for this one, we will not be building into the hillside, instead we're building on top of the hillside. Once we have a large enough, clear, flat area, we start as we did with our three high ring of stone. in detail with cobble, mossy cobble, and andesite. And then working on our dark oak beam system to set the roof onto. For this build, the roof will be completed on all sides, and I feel like having the roof start so low to the ground should help create a shelter from the elements for this build. Of course, since this area is inspired by some northern islands in Scotland, it will be very wet and windy. So just like the other builds, we're adding a lot of moss and birch into the roof to create a rundown and damp feel. Moving on into the inside of the build, this is a storage build. And so what is a storage build without chests? Lots and lots of chests. We're trying to make sure that there is enough space to label these chests, either with item frames or signs, but at least for starters, there should be more than enough storage to fit our needs. Of 
course, a storage room is also going to be a place where we'll be crafting a lot of things. So it makes a lot of sense to set up a little working station in the middle with some furnaces, crafting bench, and a few other tools. As with the floor, I feel there would be a lot of foot traffic in this sort of area. So we're mixing together all our dirt options we have to create a heavily used path, as well as adding a bit of gravel, maybe to symbolize some metal shavings on the floor from producing tools. From the outside of this build, we connect the path down to our start area, of course making it look nice and overgrown as we go along. We start by clearing the area out of all the default trees. Working in different types of dirt in along with our path blocks. adding in some moss and other green items. While also adding some slabs to make traversing the area easier. We go about adding some boulders with lanterns for lighting, making sure that this whole area is well lit up. We then start working on some custom trees to replace all these default trees. Adding in an oak style tree to try and balance all the birch trees that have naturally spawned on this island. Once the path is done, it really transformed this area from a bland default birch forest into a lovely overgrown but easily traversable path, allowing us to travel between the two builds well and starting to really grow this settlement out. Now that we have our storage area sorted, we can start to think about our next project. 
And since we have that storage, it feels like a great idea to tackle this temporary area next. Maybe we can consider converting it into a large-scale farmland with some animal pens and buildings scattered around. We could add in some rivers flowing through the area, as well as paths to get around. And of course, some more custom trees. Though that will have to wait, as we're out of time for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed this cinematic Minecraft Let's Play, and I look forward to seeing you next time.